Hey everybody, Layla here with a video about how to solve that very frustrating problem where you come into ClickUp, you are so excited to get your account ready and start tracking time. And you go in here and you're like, uh, where do I track time? Someone tells you, look, I did it. It's no problem. I track time. And you're trying to look for it. And you're like, I don't see it. Maybe you go to the Chrome extension and you try to track time and you're not seeing a button there to track time and you cannot figure out for the life of you why your beautiful new ClickUp account is not doing the thing you need it to do. Well, <laughs> the short answer is most likely you do not have the Click app. That's right, not ClickUp, Click app on for time tracking. So what you're gonna do, and follow along with me, if it's not this issue, there's some other things we can try as well. Odds are this will fix it. Click down here to where your little photo is, your beautiful face, and click over to the workspace settings. Oops, clicked a little too fast there. You can click on settings or click the click apps to go directly there. Click apps. Where that's gonna take you is the click apps section of the settings area. And this is basically the area where all of the modular features of ClickUp live. So ClickUp's trying to not overwhelm you. So instead of having everything visible at all times, things are hidden in settings that you need to turn on in order to see. I think part of the idea is so that you can start in ClickUp in a very simple environment and kind of add things on as you go. Oftentimes there are options when you're first setting up your account to toggle on these features, but if you are new to ClickUp and you don't know what the heck they are, you might not check them at the right time and you might accidentally toggle them off. So regardless, let's make it right now. Go to those settings, click on Click Apps and follow along. We're gonna scroll down until we see time tracking. I'm gonna turn that on. That's it. So the option to display in hours, I believe if we turn this off, it'll probably display in days. We're gonna keep it in hours. And I'm also gonna turn on time tracking roll up, which basically means if I have subtasks, everything kind of sums up to be the task total. I'm gonna turn that on as well. Um, I will also turn on time estimates. And here we can choose how many hours per day we end up doing. I like to do a real 24 hours because I think it's weird to do eight. All right. I know they're trying to do that for workload, but it is strange. So I've got those features on. I'm going to go back into my task now and let's see if a, if a task is going to give me that features that I'm looking for. So there's a little bit of a disclaimer right there, but we're going to go in and pretend we're looking for something new. And voila, we see two new things that we did not see before. Between the due date and the created date, we see a time tracking area, which has a clock. Da, da, da. It allows me to start the timer or add manual time. I can start the timer. It'll do kind of like a real time time track tracking, or I can do manual time, which is typing everything in. The estimate, which is the kind of the sand icon here, allows you to do the same thing to track the estimated time for a project. When you have both of these fields filled in, it's very nice because you can calculate the time remaining using different tools. So very nice to have that in there. Um, one thing you'll notice is when I clicked on start timer here, it didn't work. Why the heck is that? So there is one more layer of complexity to this whole time tracking thing in ClickUp. If you wanna do the real time tracking, uh, maybe this is just me, but I'm pretty sure this is the case for everybody. You want to have the extension install, installed. So quick lesson, extensions are these little things. And you can see I have a lot of them for a lot of different random things. You can go through some trivia. Oh, look, there's Fonts Ninjas. I was going to try to make you guess, but lots of different extensions, which basically gives you some superpowers that follow you around your Chrome browsing experience. And again, I'm in Chrome right now. I believe their extension is for Chrome. I'm not sure if they have it for other tools, but I have the extension installed. So you might be wondering, why the heck isn't it working? Well, when I click on this extension, um, I actually know just by the logo that this is for a different, uh, different workspace here. So if I wanted to go in and make sure, or different team, I want to make sure that the team I'm in right now, which is Layla Pomper, something, 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 Layla Pomper's workspace in here. If I click in that, I'm going to connect that team. And when I do that, all of a sudden, when I go up here to track time, I'm going to have a functioning dropdown of two different tools that I can track time for. Ooh, it's, it's thinking a little bit here. Chugga, 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 chugga. So I hope you followed along as this is loading here. I clicked on the extension. I clicked add team. And that's how I added the secondary team into here. So now when I go up to the drop down, I see my second team, which is the space I'm currently in. If you did not have the extension installed, instead, you're going to make sure you install it. 
and follow a very similar process to install your first team. To actually find out where to get the extension, you can go here and click on download Chrome app, which is going to take you to the extension. Actually, let's double check that together. Pretty sure it'll take you to the extension. Yep, there it is. So you can get a bunch of different things and this is the one that you want back here now. So we've got our extension installed. I can do all those cool things that you can now do in the extension, which is tracking time, sending screenshots, all this fun stuff. But most importantly, when I go back into my normal task, let's close out of this, lots of layers. <laughs> when I go back into my normal task, when I click start timer, oh God, guys, we're doing this live. I hope this works. It starts working. Yes. All right. It turns red and then our time tracking is functioning. So if you are trying to get the time tracking to start working in your ClickUp and you've tried everything and things aren't showing up, make sure that you have the Click App setting on, which is down here under settings with your little pretty face in the corner. Click App right there. Get right to it. Make sure time tracking is turned on. And if you want to have that time tracking accumulating in real time, you want to make sure you also have the extension installed. As you can see, you can start things in the extension and start them in a task or end them here and start them there. Either way, you're going to need a wonderful extension installed and logged into in order to get the full time tracking experience with ClickUp. When you're tracking your time in ClickUp, all of that data is going straight into ClickUp and can be reported on in dashboards and different tools, which makes your life so much easier without having to install yet another piece of software. So. That is time tracking in ClickUp. If you have more questions or you want a more sophisticated deep dive on this, please let me know. I'm going to be releasing a bunch more videos about ClickUp content in the coming weeks. So I would love to hear your suggestions. Um, yes, on that note, my name is Layla and I run Process Driven. If you are interested in more content like this, make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell below and make sure you make it so that way you're getting notified every time a video comes out. So you can be the first to find out about these frustrating moments in ClickUp and how to resolve them without spending hours and hours trying to figure it out on your own. So that is it for this video. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.